Sand lances are important foundational species upon which fish, seabirds, seals, and whales depend for their food. The Stoutwagon Bank National Marine Sanctuary is teeming with life when sand lances are present in abundance. Researchers are studying the effects of climate change on the biology and populations of these tiny but important fish. Sand lances are slender fish with a pointed snout, enabling them to burrow in the sand. They have only small streamlined pectoral fins and lack a swim bladder. While they look eel-like, they are not eels. Mature sand lances are typically four to six inches in length and travel in large schools close to the bottom. Upon hatching, sand lances enter the larval stage, shown here. Larval sand lances feed on phytoplankton, which is responsible for the green color of the water. Mature sand lances feed on zooplankton, primarily tiny shrimp-like copepods. Sand lances, in turn, are preyed upon by larger fish and by seabirds and the largest predator of all, humpback whales. Humpbacks are found at sites on Stellwagen Bank where there are also large populations of the northern sand lance. Here, seabirds are also getting in on the action. The American sand lance is found in shallow coastal areas such as this cove off Fort Foster in Kittery, Maine. About 100 yards offshore in 25 feet of water is an area of coarse sand and shell fragments, the kind of habitat preferred by the American sand lance. Large schools are found there during the month of June. In the distance, there is a sea raven waiting to ambush passing sand lances. Watch closely. As I swim over the bottom, sand lances quickly dart out of the sand in front of me, almost too fast to see. Here is the same recording played 50 times more slowly. A first sand lance emerges from the sand, then a second, a third, and a fourth and a fifth. Consult the article shown here for a comprehensive review of Sandland's biology and population dynamics. For links to my other educational videos, go to seps.unh.edu slash person slash n dash Dennis dash Chastine. Thank you.